Hey guys, it's finally here. My box of goodies that I ordered from Pokemon Center Online Japan. So I thought I'd show you what their packaging looks like and what I bought. So you see the box has these cool Pikachus on it. Um, unfortunately it got dented a little bit in transit, but that's okay. See the, the side here? It's got a Pikachu riding on a Mantike. And some more designs over here. Looks like it's the same the same on both sides. The bottom is just plain white. Um, and then the top part here. Now they wrote on here, they wrote business closed. I had used an expedited shipping service because it was only a little bit more money than using the slow one. And it looks like it had gotten here on Saturday. I had it sent to my work address. So they actually held it at the post office and then brought it back on Monday. So, I had this for a few days, I'm just getting around to opening it now. That, but that's what that is, this is 227, that was Saturday. Um, but you see there's like the three Pikachu designs here. Then this was, I'd assume was put there by the Japanese Postal Service. And um, you see this is all of the original packaging stuff here. So one thing that I already went ahead and, and used was this. This is a code, I'm not going to bother censoring the code because I've already redeemed it, so you can try it all you like, it's not going to work. Um, this is a one-time use thank you gift that they gave everybody who ordered anything from the online store when it first opened. And the, it basically just well supplies last, so I'm assuming they're all gone now, but it's kind of cool. It's for Omega Ruby or Alpha Sapphire. It's a Pikachu that knows fly and surf. Which is very strange for a Pikachu, but, um, I, I mean, it's just sort of a novelty thing. You see it says thank you in English here. And then there's the Japanese writing, basically saying you have to use the code by August 31st. Not a problem, I've already done that. Um, you can read about it here. Now, you'll notice that this design, the Charizard carrying Pikachu, that um, is on a lot of their stuff. That's one of the three official pictures that they had done for their online store. You can see it says Pokemon Center Online. There is an actual Pokemon Center Japan. In fact, there are several of them. There's one in Tokyo, and there's, like, what, six or seven other ones, I think, throughout J Japan. Um, and a lot, of the a lot of the official Pokemon merchandise is exclusive to that, but now you can order it online, too. So now there's two sets of stuff. There's Pokemon Center Online exclusive, which means you have to buy it straight from the website like I did. Or just the regular Pokemon Center exclusive you can order from the website or you can go there, go there in person. But I don't live in Japan, so that's out of the question. Okay, let's take a look at the other stuff I bought. And I'm basically, because I was one of the first customers, I actually pre-registered for the store. I got some little thank you goodies. So... Yeah, there's a very big box for what I bought. I mean, look at that. Anyway, this is one of the free gifts. Basically, anybody who ordered... Anybody who signed up using the special promotional link got one of these. And remember I said you'll see this picture a lot? It's the same picture. So this is what's known as a clear file. Because it's clear and it's used to hold papers, <laughs> right? Yeah. Okay. And then the back here just has a smaller version of that same thing. So... You know, I, I mean, I would never use one of these to hold papers, but they're a common little merchandise thing. I know people who have gotten clear files with various artwork on them. Um, so here, let me zoom out for a sec. That's what it looks like. Um, and then basically, though, they open like this at the top, but the bottom part is attached. So what you can do, I actually have one that I'll grab real quick. This is one that I bought, um, this was part of a, a bunch of various things that I bought. This is Pokemon Store. I assume this is the in-person one. What I did was, you see how I flattened it out? So it was folded like this. And it has the little, you know, the little holes, just like this one does. Basically what I did was I just took some scissors and I cut the bottom off, this little strip, so that I can flatten it. And that way I can put it up on the wall, like this against a white wall and it looks like a nice little laminate. It's almost like a little miniature poster. See, it's got the airplanes and the, <laughs> the cool looking Pikachus. It's part of a, part of a uh, miscellaneous goods package. It wasn't like that I was specifically looking for this clear file, but I had it, so I thought why not just turn it into something I can use. I'm not gonna cut this one up just because, you know, it's, it's neat. <laughs> 
<clears throat> you can only get it. Well, I don't think you can even buy these. They were only given out as a thank you for pre-registering for the store. And the registration's actually filled up, so you can't even get them. You'll probably find people scalping them, though. Okay. Now, this was another free gift I got for spending a total of um, 5,000 yen, which is about 50 bucks. This one is, I believe they call it document holder. It's like a clear file, but it's thicker. This was the second of the designs. You see it's a Pikachu bouncing on top of a Snorlax. And the common thing with all of these is the little box. You see there's a little box with a Pokeball on it, right? Because I think that's supposed to represent stuff being sent from a store in a box, right? <laughs> so here's this design. And it, it opens like, you know, it opens and you can put papers inside. It says Pokemon Center Online and the stencil font. That's a little logo here. And this is fragile. I mean, it's really not fragile. It's just part of the design, I guess. Um, and then on the back, it shows the other. There's there's the Charizard one that you've seen a bunch of times. And then here's I guess, here's the third one. They do show it small. It's a Lapras with a Pikachu on, on it. And then here, if you read Japanese, you can see... Um, I don't know what any of this says, but it's in there. So if anyone wants to comment and tell me what it says or something I'll ask somebody um, interesting it says copyright 2015 because the store didn't open until the end of February 2016 so I guess they had these things already made and they were just sitting there waiting not really sure how Japanese copyright dates work so here's I'll zoom out again here's the back of it okay the side and here's the here's the front now for the stuff I actually bought <laughs> okay oh and I I find it funny that this is in here. It's an ad for Baiyi. See, I, I use Tenso. Tenso is basically a service where they give me an address in Tokyo. Then I can go on various stores, pay with a credit card, have it sent there, and then they forward it to me. Well, they're... I mean, I assume they didn't open the box, so I'm thinking that the Pokemon Center people actually put this in. Or maybe, maybe Tenso did cut the tape open, stick this in, and then close it back up. But they're just advertising that you can buy. They're saying that they'll order... I don't really get the point of this. They're basically saying that they can order things from Amazon and Rakuten for you. But anybody with any credit card can order stuff from Amazon Japan. They don't care. They let you use American cards. The only thing that you can't do is Yahoo Auctions Japan. And Baiyi doesn't do that either. You need one of those middleman services for those. But for Amazon, and I'd assume Rakuten... You can just use your regular card, so I don't really get the point of this, to be honest. But, um, yeah, they stuck this little ad in there. And then here's my, um, this is the, just the receipt. So this is just showing here the various things, right? You see at the top I've got, here's where it shows the prices. These are free, this is free, and then there's that, okay? So. Let's get on with the actual stuff. Now these, these were pretty expensive. These were about $15 a piece. Unfortunately, this is all they had from the series though. It's with what they're calling the Crying Pokemon set. And somebody showed me one of these with uh, an Articuno. It has 8-bit artwork from the early games. And it basically has the little cry. For those who don't play Pokemon, the cry is the the noise it makes when you um, when you send it into battle, it makes like a noise. And so in the video games, in the anime, they're actual like they have actual voice actors. But in the anime, they're I mean in the video games, they're just little sound effects. So here's Lugia. See what I like about them is they're actually they're modeled after the eight bit sprites. See, like it's so there's Lugia and there's I don't know what that says, but that would be its little cry in Japanese. And then this is meant to be like a bracelet. They also have ones that are just the charms and they're made of plastic. This is made of like, this is like knitted actually, which explains the price. It's like a material, like a cross stitch almost. Um, there are plastic ones that I would love to collect. There's a lot more of them, but they're super hard to find. They're sold out everywhere on, online. And I mean, you can find people scalping them on eBay for like $20 a piece, which just isn't worth it. So. Yeah, here's the Lugia Cry thing, the little logo. Even the Pokemon Center words are, uh, 
you know, 8-bit pixel artwork. And this just shows you, I, don't, I guess this is like the little loop, it just shows you directions for putting on your wrist. Of course, I'm not going to do that. I might put it up on the wall or something, but... Okay, there are only three of these. There's Lugia, there's Mew, here's Mew. Get the glare out of there, okay. And basically, this one's got the little pink, a pink tail on it. And then my personal favorite, Rayquaza. Or Rakuza, as it's called in Japan. It's a, quite a long cry compared to the other two, actually. And it's got green and yellow. And that, those are the main one, the main things I bought. Then I also collect um, Latios and Latios stuff. So I got some smaller items as well. These were only a few bucks a piece. All right, let's go ahead and dump these out here. So these are small badges. They're what they're called. They're what they call can badges. I don't know why, but that's what they're called on the website. There's a whole series of them actually. There's like a Jigglypuff. There's a whole bunch, but they're called Pokemon with you. Let the camera focus. See, there's even a, a website, Pokemon.co.jp/with you. It's like a collect. It's just more little collectibles basically. And there's the back for anyone that can read that made in Japan for sale in Japan only well I got it imported so I guess I violated that this actually says 2014 as well so this one says Latios with you and see if I can get the camera to look nicely on it I'm not really even sure which way is up I mean you can kind of rotate it around I'm going to assume it goes like this because then its head is upright and I think they're like a safety pin back on these. Kind of looks like that. Like you can pin it to a jacket or something. And then here's Latias. This one's actually somewhat right side up in the package compared to the other. There's Latias with you. All right. Basically the same package, just a different Pokemon. And same thing on the back. Whoops. And then lastly are these. They're actual keychain charms. Remember I mentioned plastic charms for the Cry series? This is a different series, but they're the same type of thing. So they come on a key ring, okay? Oh, this one says made in China. Okay, I guess they're cheapening out on some of their merchandise. I'm assuming this says ages six and up or something. Because they don't want little kids to swallow them because they're plastic. Alright, so what these are is... There, this is the Eon ticket, and then you've got, let's see if I can get them separated here, but you've got Latios and Latios as, um, as separate little key rings. You can see Latios because it's sort of on top in the package. Let's see if I can do this without opening it. Okay, well that kind of made it worse, actually. Let's see, can I... Okay, here we go. So there's Latios there. So these are tiny, I mean, here's an SD card for scale, okay? I mean, look at this. The entire body of Latias is smaller than an SD card. Just to give you an idea how small these things are. Which is why, probably why they say age is 6 and up, because a little kid could easily swallow this and choke on it. But, um, yeah, it's hard to get, the, hard to get a good close-up without the glare. Let's see if I just zoom in a little bit. Oh, that made it worse. Wow, okay. Yeah, that's, that seems alright. So there's that, and... And there's that. So that's basically my haul. <laughs> um, these little uh, charm bracelets were the most expensive parts, but... Yeah, so I got the charm bracelets, the Latios and Latios badges and the key ring, and then I got the freebies. The uh, document case the clear file and the uh, the Pikachu and for those of you who don't mind modifying your your save game I have uploaded the wonder card from this thing so if you know how to use PK hex and you want to get a copy of the Pikachu for yourself and you missed out on this um, it, you know, I, I guess it would be like 99% legit because technically you're still like you know, you're still um, acquiring it 
illegitimately, but yeah, I can give you the unmodified Wonder Card file in the description if anyone's interested. So, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. And if anyone wants to order from Pokemon Center Online, um, I guess it's just useful for anyone to know they do take Visa and MasterCard. You can use American credit cards. They don't mind. And you can use a service like Tenso to have your stuff sent, and then they'll forward them on to you at a reasonable cost. Which is definitely cheaper than using Selga or From Japan or any one of those uh, courier services, because they charge a lot more. So, um, yeah. That's it, and thanks for watching. I hope you like the stuff.